色嘅平青菜，颜色嘅冰晶，红晶光，红色嘅不吉晶啊，红丁晶，红丁晶，红丁晶，红丁晶。Internet. Uh huh. Yeah, this is my YouTube. Yeah. Oh, right. And you speak French? Huh? French? No, I'm yeah. Filipino. Uh -huh. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you speak Spanish? Yeah. Sleep um, poquito? Sí, I'm a So guys, welcome. <laughs> I'm the Avatar No Nostalgia Club. I'm looking for all. And we've got Big Ben here. <laughs> look how look how juicy this guy is, love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna give Ben a little helping hand here. Just uh, had a quick scan. When we first met Ben said he had like some problems with this, this arm here, he had an accident, kind of fell on, on, onto it. He suffered some uh, injuries along the wrist, elbows, but I got a suspicion that there's gonna be a lot of stuff being held up here as well, because energy transfers. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give Ben the full works. <laughs> we'll get to the shoulder, but I'm going to give him the full works. Yeah, so what we're going to do right now, what we're doing right now is just relaxing the glutes. We're going to get the sacral index some more movement. Yeah, then at the moment his, his sacrum is not at the, the best situation where we can at least relieve, you know, give him some relief. Oh, jeans are the best attire. Is that okay, Ben? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to iron him out at the moment, going to iron Ben's body. So we're going to get him just to really sink in to this chair, really settle in. The more I can help Ben to relax, the more his spine is going to relax, it's going to be able to move a bit more. And his spine can move a bit more, and that can do some magic. Uh, we say in our philosophy, our culture, that a healthy spine is a healthy life, you know? You've got a good move. The spine is lucid. Your experience can also be lucid. If you guys at home wanted to learn, remember there's always, yin, there's always a yin yang. So um, I'm sending energy into Ben's spine, but you notice there's one energy coming this way, but energy going on the other side as well. So we've got some kind of balance. There's two focal points, but the magic's actually happening all in between as well. Are you right-handed yet? Yeah. Yeah, left right. Are you right-handed yet? Yeah. Makes sense. You notice how tight you're here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really tight as well. I hope to, you know, my videos or like what I'm doing to inspire you to kind of like help each other out. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
Still ironing him out, still ironing his pen out. It's time to go and do some elbows this dude. Okay, but
kısmını yön. Pushing on some fence, take the taxi on as well.
Yeah. Okay, you feel better now, yeah? Yeah, Ben's had a cramp in the stomach. <laughs> and now we get to the elbow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, good. It's nice deep breaths. It's nice deep breaths. Good, it's nice deep Instead of you going for a coffee or a tea, you're still sat in the car, or in, in, in other words, you are the car. Yep. So you actually see what kind of movements are, what's poss possible, isn't it? Yep. As you go, when you go, in your own time now, when you wake up in the morning, just swing your arms about this. Imagine you're an ape or a gorilla. Okay. You know, we're just you're living with us, really dead weight. Just swinging from here, and what you do is just swing it from your spine. Don't swing from your shoulders. 
move your spine in such a way where your arms kind of just flail with like this. And the more you do this, you'll get a much more better visualization of your spine. Okay. Along with that, just start practicing now to breathe with your nostrils rather than with your mouth. If you breathe with just your mouth, the air that air passage is not ideal. The best way to breathe really is for the nostrils. If you do that, you can really increase the internal pressure within your body. But yeah, so these movements here, just yeah, just remember them. That we didn't, we've done this like a hundred times now. Okay, not hundred times, maybe fifty times now. So you can really see like, wow, this is possible. Maybe you want to lie off the side of the bed and do this, you know? Yep. Maybe you're standing up, just twist your hips to, move, to make this movement. Why is going backwards as well? Just forwards and backwards. to top of the sun is there. So what I've done, I've, I've created some traction here, traction in this joint here, moved up to a natural position, and then really helped to open up the scapula here. Because I could tell that Ben's his shoulder's frozen. Need to open it. Just being very gentle, firm. How does it feel, Ben? Making you breathe way you've never breathed before. You, you can breathe better now, yeah? Yes. Good. Okay. That's what it's all about. It's all about the breath, man. You call it the breath of life.
Ben, have you ever used Tiger Bomb before? Yes. I'm gonna put a little bit here. Tell me if it irritates you. Nah, man. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. I've never come any across across anyone who's had problems with it, but nah, you never know. I just be careful. Tiger bomb right, yeah? yeah? Nice. Bring out the good old Tiger bomb. So just for you guys at home, if you really, really want to help your family members, if they've got like a um, headache, migraine, if they're finding it hard to sleep, if they find, if they're feeling their anxiety attack, well, it's just a bunch of things, but any, anything that to help them to relax. Imagine here is like, like a, like a cross, like a crucifix, yeah? And what you're gonna do, you're gonna run the Tiger Bomb on either side of the spine. If you go all the way down the spine, it's, it's, it's amazing, but you can't, no worries. Run either side of the spine, all the way up towards the back of the, neck, the head, and in particular, these around the base of the skull, the base of the cranium, the base, the base of the atlas. Run it across here. And then also, also you're gonna run it across here, so it's like a cross. On the tiger like that, outside. These sparing levers, the tiger on the arm is pretty strong. And once you've done that, the person you're helping is going to stop feeling the heat. And then you, with your magic hands, come in and start what we describe as kneading. Yeah, I'll do it above here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm doing this. A really be firm, but gentle. Have the conviction to really help. Show some love because you're helping a family member. And before you know it, you're gonna really help them. So I'm holding on here. Pulling up this these traps, stretching them further. I'm gonna bring Ben up in, in a bit just to root. Relax, uh, stretch his neck further. For now, it's going to help. Tension. Yeah, most of us. I'm, I'm saying that we, a lot of us have certain areas that we hold attention. Attention. I think you're a pretty relaxed guy. I try. Yeah, you, you seem like a really like open guy, you know. I try. Yeah. Comfortable. This is, needs to be lowered. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. There you go.
fucking down. I'm in studio. How you doing, Arvin? You look so relaxed. Yeah, it's a Try to have a bath and go sleep, man. You <laughs> look so relaxed, he's like... <laughs> I'm getting tired now. Man. <laughs> you look ready. How many places? Pardon? Yeah. Seven? Seven. Yeah, I, I was I was meant to keep it leave it for like twenty minutes per person, isn't it? But keep it going over. <laughs> I can't help it. About forty. Yeah, forty each person. Double? Yeah, double. <laughs> so instead of doing fourteen people, I'll do seven. I just need a whole army of like people like um, myself to go out and freaking help people. The army of us.
on to the memories here, bro. So kind of forget that part and some things you're not letting go of. Yeah. What do you need to uh, Like, something happened, it, it sounds like, it, like, it happens to everyone, but in your case, I can really feel this. Uh, you're, some things you're not letting go of. Sounds obvious, but for yourself, you can definitely feel it. Something happened time ago. Uh, just do that thing that I was saying with those exercises. They help. It will help you, one hundred percent, man. Are you on, on meds as well? Sorry. Are you on meds? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which ones? I take the surgery and blood Yeah, yeah. And uh, the valve tablets as well. Uh, what Valium? No, for the valve. Say again? Oh, for, oh, for the bowels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stuff, uh, yes. Yeah, what, do you think your medication doesn't help with? Yeah, you know, I'm not a physician, I have to let you know that. Yeah. But ideally, you want to get into a situation where you're natural. Yeah. Because, you know, if we take me anything, if we take, there's always like a side effect, isn't it? Ideally, you want to be like a, like a more natural, man. Yeah. If you do those exercises, I'm saying in the morning, and just really get to use use to allowing your breath to come and go through your nostrils, you'll be fine, mate. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be surprised at how quickly the body can resolve itself. When we just do these conscious like exercises, this kind of relaxation. At the beginning, it feels tiring, but the more you do it, you're going to feel more energized. Uh, it sounds you know, yeah, counterintuitive. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is, as you're doing this, really acknowledge that when the breath comes in, or you take a conscious breath, you'll feel your body expand. So really acknowledge that. So that's a will to be. That's a conscious decision to move in. But also, watch how your body expands, and then allow the breath to go. You'll notice that the more you practice this, you'll find that along your somewhere in your body you get kind of holding on. But the more you practice that, you learn to let go. And this letting go is also teaching us to be not attached. So the whole, so the beautiful thing about watching the breath or allowing the breath to come and go is to acknowledge, to receive completely, and to give completely. So in essence, there's actually no, there's nothing that ever gets kept. This is a constant flow. So essentially, we come become like a doorway or a medium for the, you know, for life to run through us. And that's what really nature is, you know. Yeah. So you know, it starts, you know, just by you know, doing those exercises. I'm say, I'm kind of giving life you a jump general, start. Everything you've got to let go, haven't you? You have to, yeah, yeah, you have to. Everything. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's like, you know, life, you think about it, the moment we're born, <laughs> we're getting ready to die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so life is about experiencing, but also just to really come to terms of like, you know, everything that we're experiencing, we always have to let go. And that is there, kept, that's like captured like, in the breath. You see the whole micro, macrocosm of, of life within like a breath in and a breath out. That's life in a, in a breath. <laughs> But yeah, just do those exercises and you'll, you'll be very surprised how quickly your body changes now. Uh, so in the beginning of the meds, what I recommend, or like what I advise, you know, take my advice, is, you know, still be on the meds, but every day, just scratch off a little bit. You don't have to stop them completely, you just scratch them, scratch off a little bit, you know, get a razor and just scratch off a little bit. Yeah. Maybe like after a year's time, you, you might scratch it down until it's like just half a pill. Okay. Uh, do, do you know what I'm chatting about? Yeah. Uh, as you do that, your body starts to wean off it. But then you're giving your body time just to, you know, habituate. You're changing your lifestyle, you're, you're changing your life path. But this, uh, alongside with cultivating willpower, 
And man, it's just, life starts changing around you, man. You realize, the reason why I can speak like this is once I used to be in and out of psychiatric homes as well. Okay. I'd mentioned to you before, isn't it? Yeah. My, my whole journey. Yeah. So there was a time when I was on antipsychotics and anti, and the anti -side, side effect drugs and antidepressants. Mm -hmm. You know, there was even a time when I was on depo. You know, depo was when injected into you, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so antipsychotic drugs, and I was yeah, I was inside in and out of uh, psychiatric homes. So I'm speaking from experience with what what it means to be like you're having to rely or think that you need to rely on medicine. So, you know, if I can change, you can definitely change, bro. Wow. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, man. Oh, here we go. No, what you're saying, like, you know, you can't learn any better than from experiences. Yeah. And they give you the uh, doctrine. Yeah. Which I've had in different ways. Yeah. Through different problems. Well. And the doctors haven't helped them. They've just died a little. They've taken too long to find the problem, you know? Yeah, bro. But essentially, I've kind of just given you the key, man. Yeah. Just allow your breath to come and go, man, and just move your body. You know why you make sense when you're saying about that? I'm right. on sleep apnea, yeah? Yeah. And I have to use a sleep apnea machine, which is basically breathing through the nose, right? Yeah, yeah. And when I wake up in the morning, it's hard for me to get enough hours. If my body is low, I have low blood oxygen, yeah? Yeah. As soon as I have good blood oxygen, enough for a few hours, I feel a different person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's coming through the nose, right? So it only works for me in the nose. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you're saying is about. So basically, here's when I sleep, you're saying this to your colleagues, okay? Yeah. The, when you. I didn't know I had sleep at me, and I've got a heart issue as well, yeah? Yep, yeah. And it was caused by sleeping, you know, like not falling asleep. Yeah, yeah. basically, uh, not breathing when I'm sleeping, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and that obviously is. I believe it was called the heart problem because there wasn't the oxygen going to the uh, organs. Yeah. So when you're saying is, we, it's all about the breath. Yeah. To let it go, yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden, what did you say? You said it will. If you let, if you let it go, no, so your breathing will get normal and you'll get rid of. So basically, when you're a lot of the breathing problems is, I believe, is possibly disruptive sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Could be dreams. Gently, could be movement ways. I've just got a. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Maybe we'll stop. Wow. Just try to breathe gently through your nostrils. You know, the more you just consciously. But it takes practice. If you just. Uh, don't force it. Just don't force it. Imagine the breath coming through your nostrils is like hot tea. You don't want to gulp it. It's like silk or satin. It's like amber. It's like nectar from Mount Olympus. You don't want to gobble it down, you want to really savour it. So every breath in, just savour it. If you keep doing that, your body will start to adapt. Your body is very loyal. Like I mentioned earlier on, like, you know, it's like a vehicle, isn't it? If you keep on practicing, the body will adapt to it. And if you do that, eventually your body, everything's going to change. It's going to change to that practice very incrementally. Since we observe how the breath comes and goes by itself, that's what it is. But when we do those exercises that I mentioned, that's you practicing your willpower. The reason why I'm up, I tell you to swing your arms out, you know what, what I was doing for you, if you do that, it's going to really help your circulation. Parts right here, yeah, there's four valves. Believe it or not, the valves come off the, off the arms as well. It's, it's, it's the same system. If you can start really constantly flinging your arms around, you're helping that, that heart pump that blood around. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be much more even. And like and like with watching the breath, if you do it incrementally, every day, just do a little bit. You know, just do a little bit. It might be tiring the first day, but I promise you after day 30, it's gonna get easier. And then just times that by 10, like day, let's say day 360 a year later, mm -hmm. you're gonna be a different man. And, and that's a promise. Yeah, no, what you say relates to a lot of things and you've, you've more opened it up in my mind. Thank you. And because of uh, certain illnesses, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've, it's just related totally. And it's, it's amazing how. Let me help you a bit further here. Yeah? I'm not actually right. Just gently, we're going to bring up your nostrils. Breathe. Just breathe. So you can see my hands. And then, this time you breathe in, the body expands a bit, doesn't it? That's it. And then you let go. Let go. 
And as you let the air go, when I move your body, I let the body honestly express itself. So as you swing your arms, out, as you watch your breath come in and go, if you can be doing that, you'll notice that you will start sinking. Your perspective of yourself starts sinking with how the body actually is. There'll be no more disconnection. You become much more centered, much more grounded, much more peaceful within. And all it is just watching the breath, allowing it to come and go, and then just making some conscious effort to make a movement, and committing to that movement, and then letting go. Making a movement, and then letting go. Making a movement, and then letting go. And the more you do this, it gets easier and easier. Good. Breath feels much you notice when you breathe in gently, the breath becomes very rich. Through the nostrils, the air gets warmed. The air gets slowed down. It gets habitualized, you know, the air becomes very habitualized to the body. But likewise, you notice that the quality of breath through the nostrils is so much greater, it's so much more nicer. It's like silk or satin or honey. that like food for the gods. doing it all by itself. All this time when we're kind of chasing externally for the answers, you know, the answer's always inside. So slowly but surely, with the medicine, if you wish, I'm only just giving you a suggestion. But if you want to, just get a razor blade on each day, just scrape up a little bit. Even if it's just a molecule or a micron, This eventually the body is sick, so I think winged off it. I'm, I'm um, brilliant, man. I, I don't know what words to use, mate. Professional, even beyond that. True, true genius is the word. Thank so, you so much. Someone that's in touch with human body totally, and that is uh, coming from many appointments with many doctors. Strongly recommend people to watch this YouTube. Thanks, man. That's the kind of only thing I can say. There's no other words I can give. Really. Thank you so much. Cheers, bro. Appreciate it. You're a legend. Thank you. No worries, man. Well, guys, that was the wonderful Big Ben. Look, this guy is like Benny. Benny, he's amazing. Look at him. He's like this guy. I love him. Like a big, he's got a big brother, he's like a big brother, I feel to you, man. I am, man. I am so you can, uh, yeah, Thank man. you so much, guys. <laughs> awesome, guys. That was Big Benny. Uh, I'm the avatar known as Taj Kai. Please subscribe if you haven't. Leave some beautiful comments for, for Benny. Give us some inspiration, some encouragement. Until the next time, I'm the avatar known as Taj Kai. Beautiful.